What causes stars to twinkle in the night sky? To answer to this question, let's learn about refraction of light. Observe the pencil in a glass of water. Why does the pencil appear to be bent? To answer to this question, let's learn about the refraction of light. Observe the beam of light travelling from air to a glass block. What can you say about the path of the light beam in air and in the glass? Light travels in a straight line in both mediums. What happens to the light beam as it travels from one medium to another? When light passes from one medium to another, it changes direction. The bending or change in the direction of light as it passes from one medium to another is known as refraction. Light travels at 300 million meters per second in the air. Light travels in 225 million meters per second in water. Light travels at 200 million meters per second in glass. Light travels at different speeds in different media. Thus, when light travels from air into glass, its speed decreases. When light travels from water into air, its speed increases. When the speed of light is slow in a medium, we say that the medium is optically denser. For example, air is less optically dense than water. Light bends towards the 90 degree line or normal when it travels from air to water. Light bends away from the 90 degree line when it travels from water to air. When light hits the surface at 90 degree, it is not refracted. The opposite of this is also true. The angle of incidence, I, is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. The angle of refraction, R, is the angle between the normal and the refracted ray. Here, I is bigger than R. In other words, the ray is refracted towards the normal. When a ray of light travels from an optically less dense medium to an optically denser medium, it is refracted towards the normal. Here, I is smaller than R. In other words, the ray is refracted away from the normal. When a ray of light travels from an optically denser medium to an optically less dense medium, it is refracted away from the normal. Try to answer this question. How will the light in the diagram be refracted at the boundary of the glass and air media? The light in the diagram will be refracted as shown in the diagram. When light travels from glass to air, it will be refracted away from the normal. This is because glass is optically more dense than air. Therefore, when light travels from glass to air, the speed of light increases and refracted away from the normal. How will the light in the diagram be refracted at the boundary of the air and glass media? When the light ray is parallel to the normal, the light ray will not be reflected. Next, let's carry out an activity to investigate the relationship between angle of incidence I and angle of refraction R when light travels from a less dense medium A to a more dense medium glass block. The angle of incidence I and the angle of refraction R is measured. The measurement is taken when the angle of incidence is 10 degree, 30 degree, 50 degree, and 70 degree. Graph of angle of 
refraction R against angle of incidence I shows that when the angle of incidence I increases, the angle of refraction R increases too. As a conclusion, the greater the angle of incidence I, the bigger the angle of refraction R. Let's look at refraction of light in our daily life. Why does a straight rod appear bent in a liquid due to the refraction of light from the region below the liquid surface? A straight rod sticking out of a liquid surface appears bent. Similarly, the bottom of the container with the liquid appears to be nearer to the surface of the liquid. In other words, the liquid appears to be shallower than it actually is. An object in water appears to be closer to the surface than its actual distance. This is because light travelling from water to air is refracted away from the normal and as a result, we see the image to be nearer to the surface of the water. Next, try to answer this question. A fisherman was trying to catch a big fish he saw in the water. He missed it. Why? What's the answer? The answer is B. This was because of refraction of light. What he saw was just the image of the fish. When light is directed off the water surface, it is refracted. Since light travels in straight line, the light that comes from the image of the fish reaches the eye of the fisherman. So, he sees the image of the fish and not the actual fish. In the field of astronomy, it is important to chart the position of stars correctly. Observations done using the optical telescope from the surface of the Earth always incur an error due to refraction of the starlight through the Earth's atmosphere. The higher up in the atmosphere, the more rare fill the air. This means that the layer of air high up in the atmosphere is optically less dense than the layer of air nearer to the Earth's surface. The starlight is refracted to the normal as the starlight gets closer to the Earth's surface. This means that the star appears to be higher than it actually is. What causes stars to twinkle in the night sky? The Earth's atmosphere consists of moving layers of air and this causes the optical density of the layers of air to change continually. Since light from the stars must travel through this ever-changing medium, the actual path of the light from the stars to the observer will change continually with time. This constant but random shifting of the light path results in the star's image twinkling, fading in and out and even changing colours before our eyes. This accounts for the observed twinkling of stars. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.